Hello YouTube, I'm back again. Today I want to talk about uh, the harvest for the summer that's coming up, you know. This uh, summer harvest season and picking season, whatever they call it, it's going to be kind of rough on a lot of the big farmers out here because uh, from what I understand, there'll be no migrant workers. There'll be no migrant workers coming in to the United States at all. That's what I heard. I don't know if they're going to have them or not. Oh, my dog wandering around in the kitchen. Uh, okay. And then with the prices like it is, you know, everybody worrying about a food crisis. I don't know. I mean, we can't be consumed with fear. I mean, we know it was coming back a year ago. And now that it's here, these people saying it's coming, I'm going to say it's here. For the simple fact that anytime you go to the store and you limited on an amount of meat you can buy, then that's a crisis. I mean, we know the price is always going up, but the prices sort of started to get ridiculous on stuff like bread, eggs, beer, poultry, you know, all this kind of stuff. It's, it's just going to the roof. I mean, it reminds me of a video I did. Are you going to eat your dog? I mean... You'd be surprised some of the but some of the people said some of the people say they were gonna eat your dog. I'm never gonna eat my dog. That's why I prepare. Okay, so the other thing, I mean, I seen videos and I know a lot of you have uh, people out there with all this milk they can't cause they can't uh sell it to the uh, restaurants and stuff and they were pouring it out in the fields. That was crazy. And then they had potatoes rotting. All these potatoes are rotting in the fields. That's just crazy. I mean, wow. So like I say that's a sure sign that we are in a food crisis. I mean, we not we might not be starving here in America, but I'm pretty sure there's someplace somewhere out where else they are starving. And like I say, so we don't want to be consumed with fear because right now, my state here in Ohio, the governor is gonna have everybody back to work. Well, not back to work, but the state is gonna be open completely by the thirty first. That's what he says, because the daycares are gonna be the last thing that they're gonna open up. I mean, so we got bars are open and everything is open. And I was laughing the other day because I was talking to my wife. And I said, I wonder if the strip clubs are going to be open. <laughs> How are they going to do the social distance and that? I mean, you know, I was just uh, laughing, you know. And then uh, our state let it go a lot of inmates, you know, in our state because of the uh, virus. And uh, I'd seen the other day in the paper that uh, dozens of them have been rearrested basically doing the same crimes again and we let them out because the virus and now they not dozens of them are back in you know it's like what they do in Kentucky you know Kentucky got a, a lot of people that they're arrested for uh quarantine violations and what they was they started doing was putting ankle monitors on them <laughs> so you know what's gonna happen with that I mean I ain't gonna even mention what's gonna happen with that but that was kind of crazy because you know they're gonna go right back out <laughs> Yeah, but other than that, that's about it. You know, I, I just want to mention one more thing. You know, I always watch the weather because I think that that's going to really mess us up with all this other stuff that we got going on. Uh, and this is tornado season. I mean, we could really get hurt bad. That's why I'm going to go out and get me another generator. Got to get another generator. Never can have enough uh, power. That's what I always say. So other than that, YouTube, uh, you take care. And uh, I'll talk to y'all later. Thank you.